thank you for rocking with me and for those people that continue to rock with me appreciate you and if you're new to the channel please subscribe so uh today i wanted to talk a little bit about chicago so chicago is one of those places i love going um you know, it's got a there's a lake obviously there and it's got like an inland uh um a river so it's just like the atmosphere is just perfect and watching this one guy is a youtuber his name is dj U and he's been covering extensively about Chicago gangs and what is what it is that has parked the biff. I was uh, kind of like playing around online today, so I was like, hey, let me look up Parkway Gardens. And for those who may not know, Parkway Gardens is uh, it's an apartment complex. This is where like all these leg legendary rappers are from, people like King Vaughn are from there. So as I was looking around, I wanted to see what the apartment complex looks like and uh, why is it that there's so much chaos there? So anyways, I started by going to Google and uh, looking up reviews and see what the reviews uh, look like and what are they saying on these reviews. So like once I started digging deeper into it, so these uh, reviews are satirical in nature. So the people in these reviews are saying Parkway Gardens is like this amazing place to live. But if you've invested any time in watching Trap Law Ross, another YouTuber that's out of the UK, you will see how grim and how dark and how uh, violent that place is. So anyways, so I figured it would be fun, maybe not fun, maybe fun is not the correct word, but I figured it would be like a bit enlightening for like a person looking for an apartment, like let's say you're from somewhere outside in the US, right? And you've never heard of uh, Parkway Gardens on each, uh, in the beef in Chicago, kind of like the war in Chicago, really. They call it Chirac for a reason, right? and you're like hunting for an apartment and you like get to that review page do you imagine how misleading that may be or that will be you know and then after you sign your list you move into the place of like holy cow what, what did i just do where did i move so anyways um i figured it would be like a fun exercise to like read through these reviews and like maybe give an honest opinion of what i think of uh parkway gardens but anyways let's get it going uh, so Parkway Gardens, uh, located at 65, one, I mean 6415 South King Drive, Chicago, Illinois, and it's got five stars. And uh, the first uh, comment is from Control, and Control gives it five stars, and Control did this review about two years ago, and this is what Control writes. The best, uh, the best apartment complex in Chicago, there is 24-7 protection. There is people outside protecting the neighborhood with gun for the safety of everyone who live there. And it's a great place for kids. There is fireworks at night for the kids to join, to enjoy. Oh wow, oh, control can I spell? I give this a five star. I give this a five stars because uh, because it's a great community to join and I hope you live longer. Oh wow. That is a very, very, uh, misleading comment there like if you look at the pictures there actually i'll go back because this is just showing like the the actual buildings so then this guy gets 298 likes um second uh review here this is from caesar caesar hogan i don't know this is my last name but caesar says he gives it five stars, and uh, this is about two years ago, and he uploads, uh, uh, I want to say this is Kif Chief right here, and that's Sosa again, and some youngins there, and some random dudes holding guns, and this gets about 204 likes, and this is what Caesar writes. My family's been living here for over 300, over 300 years. We have never once entered any dangerous scenarios. The housing is cheap and the inside is exquisite. Anyone looking for a nice house to raise a family in this is in this is a great option. The amenities provided are 11 out of 10. Nightly fireworks show and many, many undercover security guards at all times. Simply hidden behind their street clothes, they all carry handguns for the safety of residences. If you park your car anywhere near, if you will not be there in the, it will not be there in the morning. The valet ser service works extremely quick. They sometimes take your car before you get the chance to park it. Many citizens of the neighborhood are very friendly, such as 
Lou Dirk, Chief Keith, and Lou Reese were young fellows who were too developed and served their community once again gotten into trouble. <clears throat> Definitely recommend if you're new to the area. I would say do not follow that one. These are all blackens, and I think there's a, a high level of uh, of comedy in these comments. So I think that the, the opposite of what comment of that of what that comment says is what the truth is. And then Jessica Denae, she get she gave it a five stars, and this is about two years ago. And of course, there's like random pictures of people. Now this place is a place like no other. Come here to visit last summer. Came here to visit last summer. Once I arrived to the block. I was greeted with talking squirrels and singing birds. It was a musical. All the hood dudes pop out and start started to tap dance and sing. Welcome to Old Black. I was overwhelmed with joy and greetings from the entire neighborhood and local animals. Hell yeah, I recommend anyone to visit or live. Boy, did I have fun. Check out pics of the friendly musical of the natives greeting us. We enjoyed so much we hung out all night. Oof. Ah, uh, okay, take your word for it. And then Andy uh, gives it two, uh, five stars as well. And I uh, did this about five years ago, I mean two years ago. And this is the comment. This place is awesome. I love it here. Fireworks, beautiful cars. The neighborhood folks are so accommodating and nice. One even valeted my car for me. Every night there's a beautiful fireworks display but I think my window blocks my view of it. Amazing place with great people. And uh, I guess this is uh, pictures of Andy. I'm thinking this is, uh, no, this is good. Oh, I, oh, I can't really look into those pictures. Anyways, there's uh, pictures of random dudes right there too. And then here comes the equalizer. Did this about two years ago and gave it five stars as well. And uh, the uh, equalizer is like a beautiful family there eating random fruits and veggies and cutting chicken, I guess. So the equalizer says, visited my family for Thanksgiving here. Oh, I guess that's their Thanksgiving meal. Feel like absolute royalty. As soon as I arrived, I had a young man valet my car and bring my belongings down. I felt very safe walking through there, through here. Many security guards were placed around Place around and it's, it's also good to see that they are fluent in sign language and able to assist the deaf. <laughs> That's funny. Walking through here is also very nice as there is always music playing. <clears throat> Although the lyrics are a bit graphic and not of my test, still a nice addition. The locals that live here have a nickname for the place which is All Black, which I find very cute. Many active men during rec time as well and had lots of fun playing ball. One thing that stood out to me is that many of the locals love to say their disapproval of 463rd. Do not question them, but other than that, love the place. All right, another false claim right there. So this can be very misleading to a person who's like seriously hunting for an apartment, right? Imagine if you've never heard of Old Black and you've never heard of, uh, never heard of like uh, King Vaughn and Lou Reese and uh, all the people that originate from all black and you seriously like looking for an apartment only to like move into all black and you like oh shit what happened or what was on did i move into but anyways we don't judge here comes hype beast 101 and i did this to well i don't know if it's a or horror but this person hype beast uh did this for about two years ago and he gives it uh five stars by the way five stars is the best you can give so this uh, Hype Beast 101 must have been very, very, very uh, pleased with uh, Old Black. So, Hype Beast says, Immediately pulling up, we saw the armed security guards and the valet. They were very kind and said valet was free. Punctuation would be okay. Still haven't gotten my car back, by the way, but there's, that's besides the point. We talked to the security guards and they did not like the number 12. The number 12 very much and thought, thought us. I'm assuming he said and taught us some new sign language. They told us about the rival football team called 63rd. They told us if we were from 63rd, they would. I don't get the reference, but we, we invited our favorite guard, security guard, Kwe, to our wedding. And he, can, and he came, cannot recommend this place enough 10 through 10. All right. 
don't know what that means but it's uh yeah i mean i'm gathering the fact that they're saying that uh the security guard is like a gang member he's part of uh the all blackians so well that was very poorly written but you know it is what it is but hype beast 101 gives uh all black uh all black uh five out of five all right so we go to gabe uh Gabe gives it a five stars as well, and he did this review about two years ago. And uh, Gabe writes, A calm, peaceful place to move to near Chicago with some very nice neighbors, one of which was a very nice young man by the name of Keith Cozart, which helped me out a lot with my moving. Also, there were men with guns outside, which made me feel very, very safe during the, the day and night. I recommend moving here. Awesome. Yeah, don't believe Gabe. Gabe is talking on the side of his neck. I would move into all block. Here comes Danny. Danny gives it five stars as well. And uh, this is from about two years ago. So Danny says, Ha, ah, ha, ah, such a wonderful neighborhood. Watch out for the fireworks though. You might get fireworks if you're, you are, I, I, I dislike people that do spelling like that. If you're from 63rd. A lot of kids for, for your teenagers to play with heart sign i just love this place it's like heaven on earth all right so there's chief keith and there's uh, uh i i want to say that's uh i don't know who that is but uh i guess he's saying okay i'll turn up a gang sign one of the two uh so then there's kenny d gives it five stars and did this about three years ago and uh kenny d writes this community is extremely beautiful i mean truly a gem on phone num <laughs> that's funny so like if you watch a lot of like Chirac or you follow Sh uh, Chiracology on Reddit, that's like a common term. I think people from Chicago used to like to refer to one another. I guess it's a term of endearment. I'm not very sure, but it sounds like they use it in that uh, context. Anyways, uh, this community is, comp uh, is extremely beautiful. I mean, truly a gem on full of, as the youngsters would say, ha ha. But, anywho, it's a well-kept and peaceful community. Everything was so beautiful, and I felt like I was at a resort. The neighbors are extremely kind, are ex are extremely friendly, and welcome welcomed me with open arms when I let them know I'm not from 63rd. Okay, good for you, Kennedy. Here comes uh, Matt, Matthew. Matthew gives it five stars, and Matthew did this about three years ago. And Matthew writes, uh, I love, love, I love, love, love this place. It's located right in the lovely scenic neighborhood, uh, neighborhood of Greater Grand Crossing, which is the best neighborhood in the city. The people here are so nice. One time, one of the fine gentlemen here took my car keys because he wanted to go get my car washed for me. How nice. I picked up some pretty neat slang from, from them as well. If you are if you are lucky enough to rent here, I totally recommend it. On phone now. On a side note, an inside joke is to say I'm not from 63rd Street. They seem to really love to hear that. They also love to play with nice toy water guns and even buy their children some to play with too. So for context, or for those who may not know, 63rd uh, there lies their rival gang, I think. And I think there's been a lot of murders and a lot of uh, uh, sad uh, uh, incidents to where like people get killed because they're from 63rd or they get shot at because they're from Old Block, from Parkour Gardens. And for those who may be wondering what the backstory there is, I would recommend you watching Trump Lord Ross. He has uh, done some fine investigative work and uh, they put that work into a documentary. And he did, uh, I would say, he did a very, very wonderful job. So for the backstory and context, watch his stuff. Anyways, Young Burks uh, gives it five, uh, five stars. And uh, he did this review about two years ago. Young Burks writes, a great place to live. 10 out of 10, we recommend living here. Uh, these apartments are full of nice and young gentlemen willing to help anyone in the community. It's like 82 people. 
here comes Grace Strickland gives it five uh, stars as well and uh, his review is about two years old and Mr. Mr. Strickland says real friendly neighbors and fireworks every night it's really lit also Chief Keith is a real jeep and he lives here I don't know what that means so also Chief Keith is a real jeep and he lives here I don't know what that means I don't know what the word jeep means but anyways I guess uh, Urban Dictionary can help us there. So here comes uh, Veron Frederick. Gives it five stars and his review is about two years ago. And he writes, Nice place. I heard someone say BDK and smoking Vaughn and I heard fireworks and he works kindly. And he was kindly to put to sleep. And he was kindly put to sleep. Let me reread that. Nice place I heard someone said BDK and smoking Vaughn and I heard fireworks and it was kindly put to sleep. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's saying that somebody said BDK. I guess BDK is uh, BD. Uh, Black Disciples is the gang that lives on Old Black, I think. And then King Vaughn uh, is a rapper that died about two years ago. Maybe three, four years ago. I don't know. It's been some time. Um, I guess he's BD, maybe, not sure. And uh, from some work I've done or some documentaries I've seen, I wanna say BDK means Black Disciple Killer. So I guess if you're from a rival gang, that's what you would yell at a BD person. And then, uh, I heard fireworks and it was kind of put to sleep, so I think he got shot at and he passed on, I guess. I mean, that's a lot to decipher from like a single sentence, right? But it's a sentence that's like very compacted with like information, I guess. Anyways, here comes, uh, I don't know how to read that word, but anyways, here comes this person and uh, this person gives it five stars. And uh, this person says, a lot of nice people in this area. A group of young men came up to me asking for my phone and my new Jordans. I guess they needed, they needed it more than I did. Well, this person got robbed, it sounds like. Not cool. There's um, something, uh, a gang of young men that are in a gang. That's funny how I said, how I said that, a gang of young men that's in a gang. That's like a... Uh, overuse of the word gang but anyways it is what it is so nick one five stars about two years ago rest in peace king bye i don't know what that means maybe he meant fine and then i think the rest of the reviews they are just five stars from how uh, to read that word airy uh darnell free death pizza yeah so like if you look into most of the options um, if I were you I'd reconsider those options to, to be fair though I've driven by this place and it seems to be located uh, located quite near to the to the lake shore but I think having seen the the documentaries on how this place uh, just how much may has happened there I don't know if this is a place you would recommend for anyone so you can quite see like these buzzwords here, there's all black, inside of all black, King Pan naturally comes up, 63rd. And uh, looking at Google Maps here, let's see what we can find out. So that's Parkway Gardens. Parkway Gardens, Chicago, Illinois. So there is 63rd. Okay, so that's like a street view of 63rd. Uh, this is probably where the train is. This is for like the train tracks and stuff. But let me go back. Oh, see, even Google Maps calls this place old block. That's wild. 
So this is, I mean, I'll go back to the map here. Cause I mean, so Parker Gardens is in this vicinity here. And 63rd is like the major street up. You can see how close these, uh, these places are. And you can see why there's so much mayhem and uh, loss of life. Cause I mean, this is very close to each other. So I guess the people that live on 63rd they kind of like uh, beef with the people that live on. What street is this? South Martin Luther King Drive. So King Drive right here. And uh, 6th to 5th is right there. So this is like so close to one another. 64th is there. So the people that live on 63rd don't get along with the people that live on 60 on South Martin Luther King Drive. And they don't get along with the people that live on 64th Street. That's crazy. So anyways, let's look at the street view here. Okay. So it doesn't look terribly bad. I think it's... In some spaces or in some countries, this would be considered as luxury living. Because, I mean... This is not bad. This is not like dilapidated. This is like, it's not like they don't have electricity or anything. There is electricity there. There is like nice cars parked in that lot, you know? The sidewalks and flowers and well-paved, uh, uh, well-paved uh, sidewalks. There's even a security fence there. So like looking at it, it doesn't seem like this is where like there's just total poverty there so i think it's more so like not the infrastructure itself i'd say it's like obviously they are minimizing quite a bit there's been quite a bit of history there for like all these different people to end up in such a small area but like what initially happened for people to be like beefing this much for people to be killing each other like this yeah, I understand that uh, people are climbing the streets, but is it truly the streets that they are climbing? Is there like an underlying problem there? What is like the main, what's it, what's fundamentally wrong? You know? Yeah, but anyways, uh, those are very psychological, well, philosophical questions I'm asking there. If the question or if the answer was that simple, I don't think the problem would exist. But I think having watched so many interviews and uh, having, having heard so many opinions or many sides of the story, it's, uh, I think the problem because I think there used to be an area in Chicago where they had all these uh, apartments, projects that were named after these pioneers black pioneers you know early billionaires so then after i guess that area was getting reclaimed because it was so close to downtown it turned into like luxury uh, condos and living apartments so i think people of different origins and belief systems were like housed together and i think that's where like most of the trouble started anyways um I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. But as you can see, this is a very small section of land, and the streets are literally right next to each other. I guess when you look at it from a street view or from a, a street perspective, that closeness in geography is truly a problem because people will get on one another, especially if their belief system uh, is that different. But, anyways. Uh, I'm working, I'm beginning to dive into like the backstories of uh, why there's so much killings in this small space of area and uh, see what I can comprehensively come up with. But if this is a, a story that's uh, of interest to you, Vlad, has, uh, Vlad TV has covered it quite, quite extensively. Even better, DJU, DJ University, he used to be King Vine's DJ. He dug deep into like the backstories. Well, not him, but it brings up his guests that are actually from these streets, right? 
the people that are from O Block, the people that are from 63rd, the people that are from OTF, you know, uh, people from Gyro. So it's that story is, uh, those stories are crazy. But anyways, if you like content like this, please subscribe and uh, uh, watch out for another video. And once again, thank you for rocking with me. Till next time, see ya.